One of the dishes I'm going to show you today is called citrus. Uh, it's one of the dishes we've developed uh, uh, for a little while and uh, it's very much working with the seasonality of the ingredients. Obviously, we are uh, now at the time where citruses are at their peak and uh, it's a fantastic uh, dish to put them all together. So I wanted to show you uh, the, versali the versatility of the machine. Uh, one being cooking a cream using the hot and cold uh, facility, so cooking a, a cream which is a thickened custard, basically a thickened lemon cream, uh, which we will actually cook and therefore pour into a small stainless steel rings. It will be frozen, then when defrosted, when uh, we take it out of the rings, we actually dip in cocoa butter to give a lovely cocoa butter shell, which uh, uh, trapped inside a very soft center. Uh, the other uh, uh, preparation for the dish is a lemon and basil sorbet for which we use the best lemons available coming from Italy, Spain or the south of France depending on the time through the year uh, uh, which are uh, uh, producing those, 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 those fruits. And um, when those uh, preparations are made we put it together on the plate. So we start uh, piping a lemon butterscotch sauce on the plate. Then we put a very crumbly uh, lemon linzer uh, sablé then we top it with that disc of lemon cream around. We place three little cubes of a light lemonade grass and lime foam uh, and some uh, Florida pink grapefruit segments, a little Florida uh, pink grapefruit gel and then we top it of course with the lemon uh, basil sorbet and a, confit, uh, a lemon confit laces and a little touch of gold leaf. There we have the citrus dish. So the next dish I, I wanted to uh, show you today is uh, the blood orange carpaccio. Again, it's a citrus based dish but completely different, uh, bearing in mind that we are at the beginning of the year, blood oranges are actually as the best ingredient you can find on the market. Uh, it's a simple dish, the concept of it is very very simple. We basically uh, combine together uh, blood orange juice and uh, blood orange segments with a dash of Campari and set it with a tiny bit of gelatin, which we pour into a uh, a plastic tube and let it freeze. We slice, uh, obviously, uh, we cut a very thin slice of that tube and we lay it nicely on the plate. Yeah, so the blood orange sorbet is a, a little bit the same as what we do for the carpaccio itself. We use uh, blood orange juice and uh, blood orange segment with a tiny bit of sugar, a dash of Campari. The difference with any other sorbet is there will not be any uh, or not much uh, dry matter inside, so which make it very uh, watery and therefore you will obtain after uh, uh, being churned in the, in the machine a cross between a sorbet and a granite kind of texture. So therefore you have to make sure that the machine is set to make it slightly less uh, churned than a regular sorbet otherwise it will become too hard. But then obviously there are setup or settings on the machine which allow you to control or program exactly the settings you want. So you lay, you lay the disc uh, of uh, the slices of the blood orange carpaccio on the plate nicely and then you top it with a, uh, a beautiful kernel of blood orange sorbet. So there we have the blood orange carpaccio. The final dish I wanted to show you is uh, the millionaire shortbread, so which is a take on the classical uh, British uh, uh, sweet as such, uh, which uh, we, we introduced uh, back into the restaurant. Uh, and the key for me there is to show um, the salted butter ice cream. Obviously everybody calls it a caramel, it isn't. It's mainly salted butter. And if you take the ice cream on its own, it's not overly powerful. But then when you eat it with the rest of the dish, it becomes suddenly, uh, or it lifts the whole chocolate and caramel flavor all together. So there we have the, 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 the creme glacée as such, the salted butter creme glacée as I call it. And then we serve it. First of all on the plate, a, uh, a, a soft caramel uh, a rectangle, which we place on. Uh, then after we've got a very crumbly sablé, which we place on. Then we top the sablé with uh, a flourless uh, uh, cocoa sponge and a chocolate marquise. All of it topped with a 72% uh, uh, Aragonese chocolate plaque and a little chocolate and cacao root on it. And then we obviously serve our beautiful salted butter ice cream on the side in a little frosted glass. There we have the manoir in the national bread.